So we coming in a little more knowledgeable about your girl Infinity Merlin. And that's what today's video is going to be. Some PvP with Infinity Merlin. Now, this is the team we're going to be running today because the one thing I have seen just from last video alone is that if you're going against a person that can cleanse, you're practically useless as a Merlin. Like she's pretty much useless. So we're going to be running Gother for those Margarets and Red Easton teams I may or may not run into. Hopefully I do, so it doesn't make sense, but if not, I guess it, it's okay. And then we switched out Echidna from last video to Rimuru for like, really the infect more or less. And then the removal of buffs, him actually doing damage with his fierce card is cool too, but that's not why he's here. But if it comes to that situation, then yeah, I'll use it. Got Rim in the back, Tama class food, and that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and hop into some PvP and see how this team fares. That's pretty much all I got for you. So yeah, let's go play some games. We got a bond team. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll go first. That's also really good. I like that. This outfit, by the way, is in crack for this new Merlin. This outfit is crazy good. So let's go ahead and disable the buff for now, so he doesn't get the heal. Do this and then do this. So. Now that I know exactly how this works, you need to attack three times first turn, and then the first attack of your next turn has to be with the um, elemental explosion card that she has. That's what you're really trying to go for. Because they already have three stacks, so the four stack procs on the fourth card, literally as it ends. So it's okay, I might be wrong though, because it looks like it procs before the attack. So it's either, oh, I have a mono green team. This is actually kind of toxic. This is not gonna go well for me. So it's either I have to start with the elemental explosion card because it procs before the actual attack, which I think I do actually. So let's start with it. We start and then let's just get her ult, sure. So, okay, it does proc before the attack. So, the first attack has to be with that card if you want it to do crazy numbers. Interesting. Oh, he uh, disabled. I forgot he uh, fucking does that. But his bond is. Wait, so. His bond has no crit chance. His Arthur is pretty much dead unless he can heal. And his Reinhardt is stunned. Love that. So this should kill. Okay, it might not. No, I think it should still kill Arthur. Yeah, that. Douche, Jesus. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Okay. All right, Merlin. I see your gimmick now. And now they both have the fifty percent decrease thing going now. So let's do this. I don't know who got that three. The green merge. I wasn't paying attention. But you have one fifty three. He has one twenty two. Let's go for the bond actually. Let's do the Rimuru and Rimuru again. I could have gotten the ultimate with a... Okay, yeah, I didn't even notice. He was invading. Evasioning. I did not even see it. So thank God I actually targeted Bond, right? But I, I could have got the Gother ultimate with the Holy Relic proc. But no. I want to save this for next turn. Unless he gets another evasion. That would be unfortunate. He got damage increase. Okay, good, good, good. And this is a taunt that I can steal next turn. Unless he manages to... His level 3, I don't know. Can he kill... No, he doesn't have enough buffs. He cannot kill my Rimuru. I don't think he... it's possible. Unless he gets crazy crit luck. Flood card? Ugh. Okay, that's fine. At least this flood card was the level 3. I'm fine with that. He expected the one shot. I am so sorry. Now a snatch. He got the ult here, which I can't do anything about, can I? Unless I kill his um, guy. So let's get the buff for, with um, this man's. Pop this, and then can I? Is that killing though? Okay, no, 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 no. Let's do this. Emerge, level three, because he just taunting. He doesn't have the. Actually, mm, okay. I think my Rimuru can kill. Crit. Wow, I didn't kill. Okay. I guess I misplayed there. My Rimuru, I, I could have killed with Rimuru and then drained his ult. That could have been always listed at 6-6 too. 
Did I just lose? I think I just lost. Damn near. Because now he has everything. Um, can I proc? To I can proc the 50% health thing, but that's not going to help my problem. So let's do... This would be three. This will be four. That'll be just getting rid of his card, I guess. Does this... Okay, it doesn't proc the buff if he has evasion. Or the debuff, I should say. Oh, wait. No, he's immune. So it would have. But he's immune. Okay. I'm fine with that. The fact that I almost lost because I just misplayed there is kind of unfortunate. I'm going to be real. Like, all I had to do was... The Rimuru would have killed Twigo, and then level 3 would have stopped Reinhardt. But I didn't do that for some reason. I don't know what my thought process was there. I'm going to be completely honest. But I see my prop. Oh my god, that heal. And now he's immortal. Love that. But I can stack the debuffs. So let's do this. Infect him. And... Is that... Three, four. Okay, yeah, the debuffs even count towards the um, debuff passive, too. So that's gonna be three. This is four. And then now he's dead next turn. He can't life steal back or anything. Unless he gets immortality again, he's dead. Okay, he got all stats. He can kill someone, but it's not gonna stop the corrosion from just one shotting him. Unless he heals above 50% HP. He couldn't even one shot him, so that's kind of unfortunate. And boom. Merlin sucks, by the way. I mean, don't get me wrong. Her against Bond teams are rough. But think about it. I had a mono green team going against a mono red team, and I still came out on top. And you know how bad green units are in this meta nowadays with Bonds running around. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop to this next match. Okay. Got a rumor with Ludosia. Am I getting out CC? This is the first time I've gone against a Ludo, and I didn't get out CC. He did not CC a single one of my characters. Damn, bro. And Ludosio is looking mad useless now. So we got Gust, the Rock one. I don't even remember what they do exactly. But let's start with the traditional. He doesn't have any buffs, so there's no point in me using the debuff card. Let's go into this, into the Dissolve, into the Ludosio. Even though he's literally being useless right now, since he didn't proc his passive. I'm trying to remember. The one on Rimuru is the... Okay, the one on Ludo is the... Crit chant, I believe. You, no, that's the stun. The one on Ludo is the stun. The tornadoes. The rock one is the stun. And then the bleed one is the crit chant one. I think. I think that's what that is. I'm still trying to get used to exactly which ones do what. So next turn, his his melee is going to be stunned. Ludo's dead, so I ain't got to worry about that. So they already Ludo already has three procs, so this will stun Ludo. So let's just actually do this. Just do max damage on Ludo. And then we're going to pop this. And then this will stun the melee. <laughs> Missed most of those crits. 200k? That's not bad, though. I literally only hit two of the... I don't know. Nine? Twelve crits? I think it's 12 hits in her attack. And I hit, okay, that's cool. Well, I killed Melly. I didn't actually think I would do that, but that's fine too, I guess. <gasps> She's got a level three. No, don't hit me. It's a single target. Why you gotta do my boy go through like that and still fail? Damn, I'm sorry. Act of Grace, wait. I don't have Tarmiel on you, do I? I do. I could have sworn I took Tarmiel off. But alright. That's unfortunate for you, G. Actually, let's do this. Merge them. And then we're going to dissolve into the level 3, sure. Why not? <laughs> Woo! I have Gotha Relic going crazy right now. Like, your boy Rimuru off the map. Love that. Unfortunately, he's going to be the debuff immune next turn, so I can't even proc the passive. But I'm just going to go for, go for the, the, the kill. Yes. Mm, let's get the Rimuru into the Merlin ult. Unless Rimuru somehow fucking just one-shots him, which is possible. 
It, yeah, Gothor's Relic was still proc So, <laughs> unfortunately, yes, Rimuru just wiped this man off the map. Good job, Dabber Rimuru. Love that. Okay, Margaret, beautiful. This is exactly what I was waiting for. So now, I don't have to deal with your ass when you try to cleanse my Merlin. So with this strat, I can just straight up use this, use this, use this, unless he has a stamp. If he has a evade, that's actually a big break. He did not, okay. This works for me. Sario got the, I don't know, I can't remember which one's the rock, like, the little droplets are. I want to say that's the crit chance one, but I'm not sure. But regardless, all I gotta do is attack once, and both his Margaret and Goddesses are basically dead. Because the 50% of the max HP is practically corrosion damage. At the, the, they should have just called it corrosion of 50% of their HP. But instead they made it all difficult. I don't know about Sario, though. I still don't remember which one that is. So let's sacrifice this healing. Mm. Okay, let's not do that actually. He's gonna cleanse, but it's fine. Oh yeah, he can cleanse. I don't have a way to stop that from happening. Okay, fuck. Let's go for this. Into the level two. Into the life cell. Cause yeah, actually, I can't debuff. I can't fucking debuff him again, so his he's going to cleanse. Which is very unfortunate. Okay, I can kill Sario. Thank god. Never mind. I gotta take a counter. That's a little rough. That's... Okay, didn't park the heal. Because, damn it. I kinda wish I didn't do that. But definitely they're surviving. She's gonna cleanse it. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I can't do nothing about this. They would have been dead, man. It's just the debuff is just the red debuff, man. And Margaret would literally just counter it. Fuck, dude. And then I didn't have another one of these, so it was basically useless. And now she healed. Now we got an issue. If he kills Rimuru, I'm pretty much screwed. Okay, Rimuru's fine. I want to go for a Goddess Liz, because Goddess Liz is probably the biggest... Actually, the Margaret is probably a bigger issue. But then again, the stats... How much health does Liz have right now? 219? I think I can get rid of that. Let's do... Let's just do this. Do this into the... Level 1? Because I really don't... I don't think I'm gonna kill. So I at least, at the very least, don't want to have to deal with an ultimate. Okay, yeah, definitely wasn't gonna kill there. This, oh wait, does that stun? Oh, damn, right, it, before the attack goes through. So next turn I can stun her, but that's not gonna help my problem. Especially if he has another cleanse, which is highly possible. And yeah, she got gods here merged too, so Rimuru's definitely dead. Hopefully Rimuru tanks this. Beautiful. Unless, did she switch targets? No, okay, Rimuru's dead. That's cool. I'm fine with this. Rimuru got smoked, that's okay. Let's do... And there's what a drain comes through. So let's... Hmm, I can't get the buff without stunning her. Which is very unfortunate, but this is fine because I can then counter you. We're gonna do this into the AOE, into the AOE. Yeah. Don't gotta worry about Liz. I would have targeted her, but I think she's gonna be dead next turn unless she put another stun. But I don't have any way to hide. Oh wait, no, she can't debuff. So no, Merlin's actually dead next turn, or not Merlin, Margaret. She can't remove the buff. So now she's literally dead. Escanor on the other hand, really weak, but doesn't scare me. So I'm not worried about him at all. Really going for the rim, huh? Love that. You have weird priorities, dog. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. 
You have to deal with both these ults. And you just went for the rim? And on top of that, like, I don't know, man. That was weird. But we get to do this. We ult. We ult. And then. No! I didn't mean to do that! Uh, okay, I hope I killed him. I, I mean, I, I got to now because if I don't, that one ultimate was hit different. Okay, he got wiped off the map. Never mind. Uh, I was. Okay. <laughs> Alright, game. He has red Tarmiel on his Liz, that's fucking annoying. Like, that's so cringe, man. No wonder I'm not doing that damage, I wasn't even paying attention. Red Tarmiel Liz is so annoying. Because she can heal herself after such and such time. And all this extra BS. Oh, he disconnected from battle. Thank God, he's gonna suck. But if he had a, if he was able to attack once and heal, I would've cried. That would have been actually dem demographically destructive for me, mentally. All right, next match. Okay. Ooh, basically the same team. He also see me by like 40. That's kind of annoying. That's actually really bad. <laughs> Especially with Green Sario being able to proc her passive. That's really bad, actually. He might be in a pickle. Like, actually. I was just about to say, too, like, this team is going actually relatively okay. And there was no main major problem with this team. Except for the Rimuru, he can be interchangeable, for example, using Green Zarya. Because now I literally can't attack. I, mean, I gotta think. If I attack... My... Well... I can attack once, but I can't attack more than that. So let's do the debuff. And attack once. Go for the merge. Because either way, this will cuck his rotation. I didn't do a lot of damage there, but it's fine. Oh, it drained my... What? Oh, Gother. Right. So Rimuru is going to be taking a lot of damage. His crit chance is lowered. That's cool. Okay, my attack disabled. Oh, so, okay, the rocks do attack disabled. Okay, that's fine. Let's... He has Gother, too, so he's definitely gonna drain my ult, which is a, kind of unfortunate. Uh, I can't do shit about this. This is so annoying. Wow, I literally can't do nothing, huh? He sealed my rank twos. And he dissolves me. Well, fuck. I can't do anything, literally. He's not gonna crit. I can't do shit. Like, I'm actually fucked. <laughs> Only thing I can do is just, yeah, use my thing. I can stun both their Sario and Merlin. Which is kind of nice. But I don't think it's going to work, is it? Okay, it did work. Nice. So they're both stunned. This is fine. I wasn't paying attention to the elements I was proccing on him. I was just paying attention to the elements he had on me. So they're both stunned. So this is a free turn for now. He procced his holy relic a little early. For like his the rest of his team. He doesn't have a choice though, which makes perfect sense. Okay, that's a cool old drain, I guess. Alright, uh Let's do Okay, I can he can stun my guy next turn. Am I still crit lord? I don't think so. So if that's the case. Let's do... I can't even use his attacks. That's so annoying. I can't... I can't... Oh, gosh. Hmm. Let's old rush. Where's that? A fucking course. Oh, God. I didn't do it for this. My hand is still completely disabled, so I can't really do a shit ton of work here. But at least he can... He has to target my Gother. Otherwise, his team cards... His synergy would be cut, basically. Bro, how many of these do you earn? Are those rank 2 too? Like, come on, man. His RNG is insane. This man is getting the most RNG I've ever seen in this game. So we're going to ult. Single target. And just dis disable, I guess. Like, I can't do anything against this right now. 
Because his RNG is actually insane. His Gother's out of the way, but that doesn't solve my problem. The level 3's gone, that's cool. That's not gonna kill. If anything, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna do more damage to me. Okay, well, next turn he's dead. If he doesn't attack and kill him regardless. Oh, it just procs like that, okay. She's still dead, so I mean, I can't... Uh, this is an annoying ass team. I might have to try this out. This is actually stupid annoying. Gother, Green, Sario, Merlin is so fucking tragic. He can definitely kill me, so I wouldn't be surprised. And he's gonna proc the Gother, the ult. That's kind of brutal. Didn't kill. Ah, I see, he must be 1 6. Okay. Hmm. I can. I think I can kill the Gother here. Not the Gother, the Sorrow here. Let's. Mm, do I want to take a counter? No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's just move the Gother card for, um, ult. Or the ho Holy Relic. It's not worth it at the like, least. Least. I can't speak. That's a little annoying, but okay. The Gother took a lot of damage there. How many counters, man? Oh my god. This dude's RNG is insane. And I'm stuck. Love that. Alright, but this game is just taking way too fucking long. We're done here. I don't even care. This That team is actually meta toxic. Like, I'm not even try. I'm not even gonna try. Like, I couldn't do shit in that situation. Like, that's fucking tough. I'm gonna have to try that team out, apparently. But let's go to the next match. And last match, we got ourselves an Asterosa team. With a pretty low CC for being in Champ 4. Interesting. I'm gonna assume you have dodge food. Like, 1000%. So, for turn 1, I'd definitely rather waste a depletion than the infect since this is goddess team we're talking about and let's just get this buff out I feel like he does an evade there there isn't okay that's cool I guess is that holy relic Chandler if that is he's gonna cleanse all of that shit but he doesn't have one he has a little baby stick so it might be okay and depending on these elements. I can one shot Esterosa and Melia. Kusak will get the attack disabled, but he doesn't have an attack, so that's absolutely useless. Okay. Let's. Since he attacked him twice for whatever reason, we're going to disable again. For absolutely no reason. It doesn't affect no one on that team. And then we can move this card forward. This is fine. Wait, did I fuck up? I fucked up, didn't I? Yeah, I, yeah, I did that one first. I didn't get any damage out of that. I definitely fucked up. Oh my god. I, it's such an easy mistake to make, man. Like, for me personally. Because I'm not paying attention. I'm not finna fucking count every debuff on this kid. Like... The fact and the fact that it pops before the actual attack makes this way worse than it actually is. Like, if this were to proc after your attack goes through, this is fine. Because then you can have them on four. Damn. Asterosa just got it literally disintegrated. But yeah, with you uh, procking this after the attack goes through, you can have them on four. And you will be safe. But instead, they don't have that. Let's do this into this. Because with you doing that, or with the element blocking after your attack, you can have four, or you can have three, relatively, and you will be able to safely use 
your thing during your turn without you having to really think about it and you'll be fine but now since that's not a thing I just want to point out this man's Estherosa did not attack me like he attacked me one turn and then he just kind of stood there trying to like I don't even know what the fuck he's trying to do but he ain't killing that's for sure and he ain't in level 2 so that dissolve does not matter I don't know I don't even remember what I was trying to say I'm just saying I don't like the fact that it procs before your skill goes through instead of after I wish it procced after the skill goes through let's do yep and then yep this is just gonna wipe so Rimuru things didn't wipe interesting I am surprised that he lived like actually well, he ain't alive anymore. That's for sure. Well, she looks really fucking good. I will say that. That's just the no later. She looks amazing. All right, let's go back. And so, yeah, I would say Gother and Merlin are definitely like mandatory if you want to run her best team. I feel because with those buffs. The Margaret's in meta, and the random ready sends you a face on a bond team. They'll just cleanse, and then you won't even be able to get her passive to do anything special. But with Gother on the team, or anyone that can disable debuffs, really, which is like that Gother, the blue Gother, probably some other off brand units that aren't really meta. But I'm not mad at this. I might have to try that Sario team. I'm gonna be real, that shit was kind of toxic, and I did not like that at all. Which means it's good content. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck this game. Alright, man. I'll see you on the next video. Probably gonna be some geared PvP. Maybe. If I have enough time to record it today. I'm not sure. But, yeah. I'm probably running with the RAM and stuff. So, hopefully, I can get, get that going tonight. Or, yeah. The, actually, no. This is, if I do get that, that video will be out before this one. So, huh. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, this video has been long enough. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.